fast and easy steps on how to record on Cubase 5, right? How to record audio, audio signals, right? It could be um, from your microphone, your condenser microphone, or you see an instrument like a live instrument, an analog instrument, not MIDI this time around, like Wave, right? Call it as Wave. So let's do this. So let's do a new project. New project, then we go to use empty templates. You can choose any one of these, you can play around this, but let's do this. So, for the sake of this um, tutorial, the audio interface we'll be using is um, the audio interface, which some people call sound card and focus right for this. And um, so, basically, as I've said in some of my previous videos, you get to see this is your workspace. Your workspace is really large, so you have your instruments here. And some other stuff will appear here as you load up your instruments or your tracks rather your tracks are here not instruments so um one of the first things you want to check is um as you all know as you should know in the music setting or digital audio workstation there's always what you call inputs and outputs or even for computers generally you have input devices and output devices so on this software you have input and output so what we are trying to do is to create input tracks right you want to input something and process it maybe or maybe not to give us a desired output right so so you have um, just go to devices let's check something just to give you so you can know the kind of um, input device and output device you have so when you're recording you don't want to record with your your computer mic or your laptop mic right you'd want to use a good microphone because the quality of the gear you use also affects your recording right but you don't have to break the bank to to make a good recording make, have a good microphone pair of headsets or monitors yeah you need them so you can also use your headsets to monitor and then um, an audio interface definitely sound card so this for this I'm using a two I2. That's two inputs, two outputs. Do you understand? So to do this, just check out v VSC connections. So now, so you have this here. So you have inputs, you have outputs, you have group FX, outputs, group FX. You know, I as I earlier mentioned, I said my audio interface is two I2. So I have two inputs, right? This is the name of the audio device, focus right USB ACU. Right? So you have um this is the driver. Right, and you have the device port. So I have two two ports, input one and input two. Basically, input one is left, right? Input two is right. Do you understand? So stereo in for output, stereo out. Output one left, output two right. So that's that. So you have group effects and all that. So this is just a good overview. So let's cancel this. We're back to our workspace here. Right click, add audio track. Add the audio track. Good. So add audio track. Add audio track. So you can decide to make the number of audio tracks you want to create. One, two, three, four. And your software will do that for you. There are two ways. You can either choose yeah, these other ones to add there. But let's just work with mono and stereo for now. So mono, stereo. So mono actually means one signal, right? Mono, right? Normal etymology, root meaning of words, one. Stereo means the whole package. Let's put it that way. Do you understand? Stereo does not mean two, but it means the whole package. This is what I mean. You know, earlier on, I showed you that um, I stated that my audio device that I'm using for this tutorial is 2i2. So I have two input and two output. So if I should select stereo, it will take signal from both outputs or all the out sorry both inputs rather that I have on my audio device. Do you understand? And I said that one and two output one and two stands for left and right, right? So now if I do stereo, I'm taking in left and right. So let's say I want to track my guitar and my voice at the same time. And I have my guitar jacked into one input and my voice to another. Right, so stereo will be a good deal for me. So I just do them simultaneously and record them. Let's first of let's start with mono. Good. So let's start with mono. Let's start with mono. So this is the audio track configuration. Let's start with mono. There are presets too. There are presets you can decide to play with. Let's say you want 
preset for ad libs to give you some stuff. But normally I like keeping it dry so I can have enough um, freedom to do what I want to do with my signal. So let's let's just give it a a dry signal, right? So do okay. Then you have what you want. So looking at this, you have this is your input. Looking at this and output. Input, output. So you can see it's left stereo in. Left stereo in. Left stereo in. Output is stereo out. Right. You can decide to send it to only the left or right, but I'm sending it to stereo out. So, so let's do stereo in. So you have left and right. Left or right. So you do left. So basically what you want to do again, you would um, check for your phantom power and all that. If you're using a condenser microphone, turn on your phantom power 48 volts and all that. So let's do a test run, right? So let's do a test run. So I have my mic connected to the left channel. So let's do a test record. Here you have record enable. If I do this, that means it's not enabled. So it's enabled now for record, right? It's enabled for record. And um, so I want to record. I just use this. Good. Use this to record. So let's do this. And I will also make sure that your your cables are connected properly and you have good cables so you don't record noise and then um, record in a good environment too. So let's do record. So I start recording. Yes, yes, yes. I am recording. I am recording. So you want to stop, you can just press hit the space bar or you hit this record button and it's gonna stop. Good, so let's let's listen. To what we just did. Let's listen to what we just did. Good. So test recording for our tutorial. You want to you want to record left, just left alone. You go through the process again. Mono, select mono. Then so you want to record right, do right. So let's do let's try to work something out for stereo. So let's just do stereo here. So I'm creating a stereo track. So now this is stereo just have one one um, input on the left channel on input one so let's see how, the, how that's going to play out while we record okay so stereo stereo recording stereo recording okay i have my former recording playing okay stop stop okay good so i have this playing behind so let me just mute it and continue recording right, i can just mute it so i don't get to hear it the background Let's go. So yes, it's stereo, stereo. You can see two lines as I record. You can see two lines, but you can notice that it is only one line that is having activity, the one on top, right? That one is having activity, just that one line, right? Good. But the other one is not having activity, and you can notice after I stop this recording that the difference is going to be clear, right? Stereo and mono. But the mono, you just had one line, right? Mono one now. So for the stereo, I know stereo, I said stereo is the whole package. So you have the whole package showing here, both left and right. Because I'm using a 2i2, two, two inputs. So you have left and right, good. So you have this, just this here. But the right, there's no activity here. And then the sound you get to hear from this will be different. Right? It will be different because it's stereo. And you'd, if you listen with a um, pair of um, headset or earphones, right? Or even your phone too, you notice the difference in a way. So you would get to know that okay, it's only coming out through the left part, your left ear, the left ear of the earphones or of your list or your listening device, as the case may be. So yes, it's stereo, stereo. You can see two lines as I record. You can see two lines. That's good enough for us. Do you understand? So let's so let's assume you have um, a guitar and your voice. I'll do a video on that, an exclusive video on that, so, so where we get to treat that better not to record guitar and your voice maybe you you're a singer songwriter guitarist and all that or pianist or keyboardist like you want to sing and play and record both at the same time you don't want to do the recording one after the other like most times when you sing and play it's just best you just do both of them at the same time so this comes in handy for you the next video so thank you for your time and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yep and um, let me know what you feel about this video in the comment section. And um, you can suggest if you have any question. 
I I might just decide to put up a video on that.